everyone and welcome to another live from the workshop and today I'm going to be making a first Doctor figure but this is actually going to be the first Doctor um, as he never appeared in the series or at least he did briefly appear because I'm going to be making the first Doctor as he appeared in the pilot episode of Doctor Who. Um, now uh, Part of the reason of being inspired by this is this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but um, I found it difficult to get hold of the hatted, um, capped version of the um, of the first Doctor that came with the unearthly child figure. However, um, as uh, you will have seen, or if you have seen my How To Do series recently, you'll know that I had to go at casting my own Ainley heads, so I had to go at casting uh, my own... Um, first Doctor head, uh, as you can see here. It's come out absolutely superbly. Um, really pleased with that to fill in a bit of Milliput there. But other than that, I'm really pleased with the finished um, with the finished head. So um, obviously it's it's quite a difficult head to get hold of. So the fact now that I've got a mold that means I can create my own uh, saves me a hell of a lot of time. Um, but it now means that I've got uh, that head spare. So I decided that I was going to have a crack at making the um, at making the pilot version of the first Doctor. So for this, I have a James Lester Primeval uh, figure to start, and I've actually trimmed the, the torso down. I trimmed it a little bit too far, so I filled it in with some milliput um, to make him the same height as the um, as the first Doctor, because I know uh, a lot of people, what a lot of people would do is they would trim down the legs. However, the legs on the first Doctor, I don't think have I got, I have, do actually have this, funny enough, a spare uh, first Doctor um, body here. As you can see, if I line the two up, you can see that the legs are actually more or less the same length. Um, it is the torso that's the smaller part. Now the reason I haven't used this is because this actually already had the tie on it, so it was one less thing for me to have to do. Um, so I've shortened the torso and then I have here uh, an unearthly child um, coat uh, from an unearthly child figure which I had spare which I've uh, tri trimmed down the collars um, to remove the bits that are needed so that obviously fits over the top. Um, but the first thing I need to do actually is to repaint the trousers into a more uh, lighter grey so let's get straight on with that. And so here is my finished first Doctor from the pilot episode. Um, I'm really pleased, uh, I say this every time and I say this every time, but I'm really pleased with how this came out. Not just the um, not just the head repaint, I'm really pleased with how, how well the head repaint ca came out. Again, the eyes are a little bit starey, I tried to um, fit uh, look, I tried to uh, fit them to the one we'd seen on the actual figure, but I'm very pleased with how the uh, hair came out because the hair is actually a little bit sort of more of a darker grey, um, almost as if he, again he is a little bit younger, a bit of blue there. Um, uh, the trousers paint came out and everything, but what I'm, I'm really pleased about the most is the fact that this is a figure that is very easy to make because, and in a way, I actually I actually think this would have been a great outfit for the for the first Doctor because there's just something about the tie variant that just looks very good on the character, um, and it's nice as well that although the the shoulders are a little bit um, the, the shoulders are a little bit they look a little bit padded I should say um, because obviously the coat's not made to fit over the James Lester figure I've used, but it still it still works really well. So having the um, having the first Doctor. Um, in this in this guise it still it still looks good and, and and it doesn't look out of place either the coat doesn't look too big it's still the right sort of the right sort of size i suppose is the best way to um to uh to to, fr uh, to phrase it but it actually wasn't that difficult either to um to just uh take off the uh tie bit of the coat obviously for this i've used the unearthly child um sculpt so if you if you do have an unearthly child figure spare um, and i say spare because they are obviously very highly sought after the James Lester figures are really quite cheap. Um, I, I see them going on eBay still for like five, five, six quid. Um, 
uh, if you can get hold of one of them, uh, there's very little that needs to be done. Pretty much all I've done here is uh, repaint the tie, uh, and that's it. I, I left the shirt. I left the shirt the slightly sort of cream look because I thought it, it looked better than a than a plain white. It just had that little bit nice off white color, and I think it just looked better. And then literally all I've done is replace the coat and done a repaint. It's so simple, and it's such a it's such a brilliant idea. It's such a brilliant variant, and because I know I know that. Um, the character options have reused uh, the um, primeval figures to create new figures. Most notably, they've used uh, the Abbey Maitland figure uh, to do uh, parts on the uh, more recently released Bill figure. And also the uh, James Lester figure, I believe the legs on it have been used on other um, actual Doctor Who figures, but exactly which one escapes me right now. But the fact that they've redone that once already, it would be great to see them do this because what I would love to see because uh, well the thing is it's interesting because uh, I've got one upstairs I don't have it uh, here with me right now but the the single carded unearthly child figure actually states that uh, the figure in question is from the pilot which is interesting because it's not because in that version he's got his usual um, he's got his usual blue tie on which obviously he didn't wear in the pilot he had a plain tie so if it was me, what I would love to see in future is to see the Unearthly Child um, version re-release with the proper uh, with the proper uh, tie and everything, or even actually a, a new variant of the Unearthly Child, which featured, um, if you've seen my Twice Upon a Time First Doctor, uh, I've used the standard First Doctor body underneath the cloak with the hat, and I, it would be nice to see. It w I would like to see uh, that. Or, no, actually, you know what? I take that back. I wouldn't like to see that because that would make a good variant of its own standalone. What I would like to see is uh, I would like to see the um, uh, an unearthly. I would like to see an unearthly child uh, first doctor in as we saw him in the unearthly child as the version that had been previously released, uh, both on its own and with the um, and with the uh, the TARDIS set, and then see this one off to the side separate as a different variant so you've got a sort of two pack you've got the uh doctor from uh, the unearthly child on one side and then you've got the pilot version on the other and in fact almost i'm inclined to say you could almost make it into a three pack isn't i, I again this would never happen this would never ever happen but you could make it into a brilliant b and m three pack in that you could have the uh you could have a pilot episode doctor one side the unearthly child version and then you could have just a standard uh, First Doctor variant, or maybe even finally, um, even though it's, uh, as far as I know, it's never going to be released, and uh, at the time of recording this, you may have seen my custom version, or you may not, it's still be coming, but to have a pilot version, the Unearthly Child version, and then the Richard Herndall version you could have on the other side. That would be a brilliant First Doctor triple pack to have. Um, it'd certainly be ones that I would love to, uh, that I would love to, to see. Um, but that brings to a close a, another live from the workshop and my first Doctor pilot uh, the, uh, figure from the pilot. As always, I hope you all enjoy this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out. Long short to go to the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There is exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.